trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> My name is Dr. Delal Al Hassan. I'm from Bahrain, and um, I'm presenting electronic continuous medical education in King, program in King Hamad University Hospital. This study was done by myself and Dr. Jafar Al Barigh sitting on the first row. Continuous medical education was established many years ago in USA and Western Europe based on research, which showed many physicians, or uh, sorry, some physicians do not update their knowledge and expertise to optimize patient care. The main objective of CME is to protect the patient, of course, and to um, improve the practice of a physician. A research indicated that um, some physicians who are um, least skilled or are, are less uh, are not skilled, are least skilled in self-assessment as, uh, as um, evaluated by external assessor. Therefore, some physicians are not able or do not recognize what they do not know and unable to do. The main objective of our study was to evaluate the new electronic CME program and its impact on healthcare delivery. The design, it was a prospective study, and it was done in our hospital, King Hamad University Hospital, which is a hospital of 311 beds with more than 200 full-time physicians. An electronic program was designed and established to record CME activities submitted as self-claim using the KHUH online program. The program was launched on the 6th of January, 2013. The CME activities included in our study are lectures, courses, um, uh, postgraduate degree, um, publication or editorial work, presentation of original paper or poster, self-study, distance learning, and the activity was verified by the head of department as well as the head of uh, the director of education and proficiency center. <coughs> Physicians were advised to check their CME periodically, that's um, about every three months, and they could generate a report for their own for relicensing uh, purposes. Fifty physicians were given an evaluation form to evaluate the program and its impact on their practice. This shows the different subcategories of CME activities. As you can see, category 1C is concerned with local events participation or overseas, with the local event as a speaker or overseas as a speaker, and overseas postgraduate degree. This category was given 64 credit points as a cap. The second category was the concern with journals, publication or editorial work, medical textbook, publication or editorial work, clinical practice guidelines, and poster presentation. This category was given 40 credits as a cap, Category 3A was concerned with self-study and uh, as audios or visual CDs as well and uh, online programs and this was given 36. The, uh, the last category is uh, concerned with distance learning and was given 36, um, sorry, and the total would be 150 credits over two years for any physician as a minimum CME credit. This slide shows the um, workflow for the CME. Once the candidate accesses the online program through the website of King Hamad University Hospital and choose the suitable category to submit the data, and then a notification email will be sent to the candidate as well as the head of department notifying that the CME activity has been entered or submitted. The head of department would log in using the same web page or web uh, site, and then verify the information. If the information is okay and is uh, proper, then the uh, head of department would approve it, and it would be automatically uploaded in the person and the candidate's record. If not, it would be sent back to the candidate to review the information and resubmit it. This is the official website of King Hamad University Hospital, through which the candidate can access the online program. And this is the login page of the program with a username and a password. The first report was issued on 20th of February, more than a month from launching the program. 
and it showed the following. As you can see, there are different departments with the number of physicians in each department and the number of doctors who accessed the program and actually used it. So uh, some of the departments, for example, anesthesia and ICU with 34 physicians, none of them used the program. As well as obstetrics and gynecology, 20 physicians and none of them used the program. Other departments showed some percentage of usage. Among them, ophthalmology, 56.7%, and radiology, 77.8%. This graph is a representation of the previous data. As I told you, it shows here there are some departments with zero percentage and some with the um, almost uh, highest percentage of usage among the ophthalmology and the radiology. The second report was issued on 20th of March and it showed some improvement <coughs> in the usage. Those departments with zero percentage, for example, anesthesia and ICU, from zero, three of three physicians access, and as you can see, obstetric gynecology, 21.05 percentage. The third report was issued on 24th April and showed similar pattern to the second report. Evaluation of CME program by 50 physician was done using the evaluation form. And these are the questions on the evaluation form. The program met the objective based upon the pre-program information, 92% agreed. As the participant, are you now better prepared to use the knowledge you gained in your medical practice, 90% agreed. Was this program presented at, at the correct level of your background and knowledge, 90% agreed. The program was easy to use, 80% said yes. The instructions were easy to follow, 84% yes. The verification by head of department and education proficiency center was clear. 78% agreed. Interest in medical development was maintained by this program. 86% agreed. Would this program affect your practice? 76% said yes. And finally, I rate my level of participation as good. 60% agreed, 40% disagreed. This is a graph presentation of the response of the 50 physicians for the evaluation. This was the evaluation form. And in conclusion, electronic CME program usage has increased substantially within one month, and the majority of physicians thought that the interest in medical development was maintained by the program and would, it would affect or influence their practice of medicine. This program has been now uh, approved by the Higher Council of Health in Bahrain and will be implemented soon in the private and as well as the public sector. Thank you very much. Thank you.